Hello, I'm Ron. I'm a guy who does landscaping. So now I'm going to give you psychological advice. Just a warning. I do landscaping. I'm not a psychologist, a neurologist, or even pathological. <laughs> I'm just a guy with an opinion. With that legal disclaimer out the way, let me climb inside a bobcat here and we're going to talk about uh, DMT clown realm. Oh my gosh. And being haunted by it. Here we go. There's my set. Usually these videos are made for people who've been there, done that, and got the t-shirt with the bolt holes in it. So, with that on the way, you do DMT, and you have some sort of profound experience, and you give your heart to Jesus. And there's something sticking to you in your mind, heart, and emotions. And, you know, you can call them flashbacks, you can call them... I don't know what the new age term is. It's entities that, you know, stick to you or drain your energy. My world, we just like to call them demons. Cue the banjo music, get your Pentecostal tambourine, and let's roll. So how do you deal with it? To get rid of entities, one, it is through the blood of Jesus and the name of Jesus. The blood of Jesus, you're forgiven. The cross is a sacrifice that puts you in complete, perfect restoration with the Father. And then you declare with your your mouth, you, you know, in, in your own mind and heart, like, okay, we're done. I, I did go there. My bad. And Father, forgive me. I command, you know, I command you to leave in Jesus' name. And Lord, I receive your Holy Spirit. And I receive your presence. And what happens is that you don't turn down the darkness, you just turn on the light and know this light is Jesus, his love, his presence. Now what you can ask for is the real deal that the DMT or hallucinogenics was trying to emulate to the copycat. And when you get that with God, it's all faith that works through love. So if you feel nothing but you just say, by faith in Jesus' name, I break up with you, I command you to leave, and I receive the love of God, and, you know, I command all these extracurricular activities to leave me in Jesus' name, they'll go. And then you get the word of God in you, that you're a beloved son or daughter of God in good standing. And... What happens is that if you think of Satan and Jesus as a compass, now Satan south is Satan, and he's always pointing the, pointing the wrong way. And so if you're hearing Satan, all you got to do is flip it to the opposite. Like, does that mean? Yeah, I know that makes sense. So if you can't do it, that means you can. If you don't feel safe, that means you are. And if you feel like this will never end, it means it will. You find the scriptures for that and then you apply them to yourself in the moment that these things are occurring and then you pray into it and you uh it's it's more than a, it's an affirmation it's but it's really a prayer and it's a true prayer and it's a true affirmation and then in time these things will leave and god is faithful to give you really what you're looking for which is a, a contact with love that heals your heart so that what had been afflicting you uh, will actually now be a springboard into the reality of life. Now, someone else had asked me what meditation was, and basically, Buddhist meditation that it came out of was emptying your mind and letting all you know, letting all things happen. Just it's it's just it bad up in there. Like whoever comes in, it's okay. So what happens is that with godly meditation, with meditation with Jesus, you take a scripture and you turn it over, you chew on it, you you meditate. That's actual real, real meditation. And it's not like you have to repeat it like, God so loved the world, God so loved the world, God so loved the world. But if that works for you, cool. But you just, you get it into your mind and your heart. And how that looks for you, that's up to you and God. But just do that. And then in time, it is the renewing of your mind that will give God a landing strip in your heart to 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 contact you and to change you in your heart and he's done that with me and he'll do it with you so don't be haunted by anything of the jester world 
and if you have not yet been baptized, that's Acts 2.38, get baptized. You can have people lay hands on you because they can blast junk out. I'm not saying it's a demon, but if it is, there's a couple different ways to get rid of them. And, um, you know, the best way I like, you know, laying on the hands, baptism, declaring yourself, and the best I like is learning to fight for yourself and receiving the proper identity so that you tell it to go so no one else has to do it for you. Nothing wrong with getting help, but what happens is that once you get your encounter with God, then nobody gave it to you except God. Nobody can take it away from you. And if you do this in faith and nothing happens, but the stuff leaves, well, that's fine. You know, it's I'm not saying you have to have a whiz bang moment, but a lot of times he will do that. And if it simply just goes away, well, that's his piece and that works too. With that, I'm going to go to lunch. Hope you have a great day. Until then, stop clowning around. Unless it's with Jesus.